Hey guys, well it seems we're in for a bit of a fitness treat here at Vibes in Fitzroy. Thanks Margie for having us. Thank you for coming, exciting to have you here. Tell us how you got started with this all. I created this uh, beautiful environment quite a while ago now and because I didn't like normal gyms and the, you know, boring sterile type gym environment so I created this with fairy lights, lots of colour, two friendly cats wandering around and heaps of variety. I've got to admit when I first walked in my first reaction was wow, like I didn't know where to run first and there was so much light and colour and, and options um, and I love that because I'm like you, I, I'm not a big fan of the whole um, repetitive gym environment and sort of just those repetitive movements um, and I think that's a big key difference that you've got here. Tell me about the services that you offer and some of the main ones that are special to you. Well, we, basically it's a one-stop shop. We've got quite a lot of variety. So there's pole fitness, there's aerial yoga, circus, team building, corporate training, where we have companies come in and do different workshops. Okay, that and sounds great. One of the ones that we do is a four-hour workshop, which is great, and includes lunch and morning tea and afternoon tea, and we get to trial all the activities. So we might start with aerial yoga, hammocks down low, and then we go a little higher, and then do some personal training or holistic training. So I design workshops and activities to suit the client's needs. So are they usually one-off sessions or do they come in sort of over time regularly? Well sometimes they can be one-off uh, if they choose to but often I have corporate companies actually paying for the gym environment for three months or so and their team and their staff can actually work out here and use all the facilities and I run groups. We've got some really cool little spaces within this studio too and not only this magical room that we're in and magical is definitely a word that I get when I walk in here there's a lot of sort of magic feeling that's going on but you've got sort of um a, a couple of other areas don't you so like the library upstairs yes there's a library we've got uh, lots of uh, little chill out rooms and the front rooms more of a uh, boot camp room crossfit room where we can hang out that's really cool so you've got a bit obviously a fitness background are you a bit of a professional in all of these areas well i've been in the industry over 30 years now so three decades of health and wellness and in, in the fitness industry over the years every year i'm studying something new and bringing a new modality into the studio where we you know, have a new little project or a new exercise or a new activity to do. Very impressive. So tell me how those classes actually work. Well we run 45 minutes for the kids and adults as well where we do mindfulness, connecting and stretching and breathing. So it's all about just connecting with yourself and being present and uh, kids love it. Its responses are amazing. I think if we teach that stuff from a really young age it just sets up their future in such a more positive light, doesn't it? For sure. It just brings them peace and joy and they're happier when they go home and their parents love it and bring them because they're transformed calmer children and a calmer household. Definitely, yeah. So I know, so you run group sessions, do you also run one-on-ones? Yes, definitely. We do privates, two-for-ones, just depends on what your budget is. We just work out a program that will suit you. So I know you've got a bit of a special deal for our Get Alive viewers. Tell me more about it. So anyone that mentions Get Alive TV gets a 10% discount and a complimentary consultation where we discuss all your health and fitness goals. While we're hanging around here, we're going to go to Julia, who's going to show us a fabulous smoothie. Yum. See you soon. Hi guys, I'm Jules back in the kitchen. Thanks for joining me. I've got a really delicious recipe for you this morning. Now tell me, if you're anything like me, the mornings are rush, rush, right? Yeah? You wake up, you gotta get ready, you might have to get some kids ready, you might have to rush them to school, and in amongst all of that, you've totally forgotten to have breakfast. And breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So I've got a really easy answer, a smoothie. Today I've got some strawberries, we've got some mango, we've got some blueberries, we've got some bananas, fresh or frozen, and we are going to make it with almond milk today. So essentially it will be a banana and berry almond milk smoothie. Now, there are heaps of ways to make almond milk. With this awesome Kuvings machine, you can make them all together in one Go. So first thing, we're going to throw the activated almonds in with our water and that will create our almond milk first up. Then we just add in our different fruits. And the machine is actually squeezing and pressing those ingredients together, creaming them up so that we end up with a beautiful, tasty, nourishing, healthy smoothie. Well, no fun drinking a smoothie on my own, hey? All right, someone from the crew, volunteer. 
Georgie Porgy, oh, yeah. our awesome cameraman here. Cheers. I'll take two. <laughs> Enjoy that one. If you'd like to win one of these awesome Kuvings juices, then all you need to do is go onto our website, getalife.tv, and you can enter our great juicer giveaway competition and win a juicer all for yourself so you can make this recipe at home. Remember, it always tastes better with Kuvings. Thanks, Julia, as always. That looks amazing. Now, while you were gone, I learned something pretty special that I'm about to show you all. Let's do it again, Margie. Okay. Shake your hammock. Good work. Turn around, thumbs in. Oh, you grab six handfuls this time. Thumbs in. Yeah, six, fam. Five, six. Come under your beam in your plumb line. Look behind and just gently sit at the edge. Slide it to your knees. Okay, I'll come out now and help you. What's this called? This is a vampire. This is an anti-gravity yoga pose and it's called vampire. So we're gonna clap your hands. So one, two, three, we're gonna lift those legs up and over and down. We're just gonna stay halfway <laughs> with your hands here. Well, I'm a bit of a vampire. We're gonna cut to an ad break. I'll see you soon, guys. <laughs>a naked man. Well, should I say the man behind Naked Life. Welcome to the show, David. Thanks. So, Naked Life, tell me what it is. Uh, naked Life is one of Australia's first 100% natural, sugar-free soft drinks uh, that's full flavoured and absolutely no artificial flavours, colours or anything, and tastes just as good as a real thing. Wow, so no sugar, no artificial anything. What is in it? Uh, we've got uh, a blend of natural sweeteners uh, to give the taste like sugar, but nothing artificial there, and then some natural flavours, just natural fruit extracts and some purified water and of course some bubbles. Yum, it sounds delicious, but is it as good as your typical soft drinks and sodas? Well, some people actually think that it tastes better than the uh, sugar-filled soft drinks, which is absolutely fantastic. It's been great to get really good feedback about it because it's, it's taste is so important. Oh, wow. And I'd imagine with a lot of people wanting to minimise their sugar intake, this would be a really appealing alternative if you enjoy your soft drink. Yeah, absolutely. There's been a lot of people over the past few years that have just tried to cut soft drinks out because of the amount of sugar, for whatever reason it is. And yeah, they, get, they get a bit sick of the soda water with lemon or just plain water, and they want something that is uh, full of flavour, but they want to stay away from the things with artificial sweeteners in them. So that's where Naked Life fits in. It really is a great option for that. Yeah, well, I think it's a great alternative because I know families and mothers, they can be very dubious of giving their children too much sugar, and this is an awesome option. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I guess the drink wasn't necessarily designed with kids in mind, but what's happened is uh, you know, the mums will go home with their drinks and all of a sudden their kids are loving it. And it's now a drink that, you know, because it's got no sugar and nothing artificial in it, um, kids are allowed to drink it. Um, in fact, it's whenever I go over to my, uh, my, my brother's place, their nieces and nephews absolutely love when I come over because they're allowed to drink soft drink. Uncle Dave, is, Uncle Dave and his drinks. Yeah, and exactly. they're goodies that are good for them, that aren't you know, going to rot their teeth, that aren't going to give them more sugar than that's already in the Western diet. No, exactly, and they're not going to get that sugar high, and as you said, it's not going to rot their teeth, which is brilliant. And in the end, it's great because kids do actually love it. It makes mums feel great for their kids to have something they're enjoying. Wow, I think that's great, being able to get healthier options into kids' hands. Yeah, absolutely, and we've got a program in place now where we're trying to replace the really sugary soft drinks from, the, from school canteens with Naked Life and other low uh, sugar products as well. That's great. You should be able to have it all. You should be able to have a refreshing drink, but you shouldn't have to compromise on taste or have to be putting nasties into your body. Well, you know, they say proof is in the pudding. I guess in this case, it's in the bottle, which is why we're at the grocery store to see what the customers really think. So is this something you'd give to uh, children? Yeah, definitely. I've got two daughters, so I would definitely give it to them. They're not allowed to have a soft drink normally, but with this, I think they'd be, yeah, exception. Yeah, well, they'd be stoked because they'd think they're having they something that's uh, a bit naughty. exactly like it. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm actually pregnant at the moment, so I'm looking for something to, yeah, settle my stomach. So it's really nice. Yeah, and uh, there's no calories on it either. Perfect. Oh, Even limited better. calories. Yeah, great. That's good. Yeah, what do you think of that? 
lemon squash, which is a taste sensation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it just tastes like lemon squash, which was good. Yeah. Which, yeah. yeah, can you believe that there's uh, nothing artificial in it, limited calories? I would repurchase. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> good. Well, there you have it. You don't have to take my word for it or even David's word for it. The proof is in the bottle. If you're interested in having a taste for yourself, head down to your local independent grocers like this one to have a go. Also, GetAlife.tv has all the information to get in touch with Naked Life. One of the really um, key uh, messages in our program is, is, is the take home message. It's what you do every day at home that really makes a difference to your child's development. And even if dads can't attend the program, um, mums can go home and say, hey, this is what we've done this week and engage the dads. Come on, we're going to do this every day. How about you do this and this and this and we'll teach you the new nursery rhymes, the new rhythm games, the new the motor skills where we've learnt this week. Let's show dad how to do them and then hopefully dad will engage with the child every day. So even if dads can't make it to the program, we've got a program designed so the mums can go home and say, hey, this is what we did. Let's, let's do some, this is what we're going to play at home every day this week. So dads can even engage with their children even if they don't they can't get to it. So, I mean, I think that's a really strong point about what we have to offer our families in the program. I agree. And a lot of times in parent training, we'll hand families a book or we'll give them a six page handout. And it's too much. It doesn't necessarily get read. The most important messages are not visible. So one of the things I liked about the program was it was a half sheet, big print, do these things, try these things at home. And it had a range of suggestions. Uh, it was something that was easy for parents to distill. Uh, I'm sure much more likely for them to go home and kind of do these things because they were just getting this short list of activities that could be readily changed after the next uh, session, then there would be different things and for older children, different activities still. But I thought that was really brilliant approach, just short, swift, clear messages. Here are some fun things, please do these at home because most of the, um, the real intervention with children is going to be at home. What you do every day at home is what makes the difference to your, child, to your child's development and that's what, exactly what we tell our parents. Coming to our program once a week is not enough. You need to, the brain needs re a repetition uh, and frequency to develop those speedy neural pathways that help the brain and the body link together in a smooth, coordinated manner. Uh, thank you, it's just been terrific. Well, welcome back everyone. I've made the wise decision to tie my hair up so I can actually see what I'm doing. And I've made some new wonderful little friends. Hi Jane, hi Gabrielle, hi Cooper. How's it going? What are we gonna learn next, Margie? Next movies, we're all gonna fly. Are you ready? Hands back, one, two, three, and fly. Oh, and then fly. we're gonna reach out and hold each other's hands. We did it, we did it, we did it. Fantastic. Good work, Jane, Cooper. <laughs> Close your eyes and then everyone let go. One, two, three, let go. And we're going to go to Craig with a wonderful life tip. See you soon. Hi guys, I'm Craig Harper. Thanks for joining me. So every week they give me a few minutes to talk about you, specifically you becoming a better version of you, whatever that means to you. So we talk about the physical, mental, emotional, practical. We talk about life, we talk about relationships, we talk about career, changing stuff, doing stuff, making stuff better. 
And probably no surprise that at some stage I was going to talk about this thing that we inhabit, this thing that we live in, um, called the human body. One of my favourite uh, authors and mentors, I guess, calls it, uh, describes our experience as a human being as, as living on a giant revolving rock hurtling through space and time in a biological spacesuit, uh, the human body. And I guess the interesting thing about our body is that we, we tend to almost think of it in isolation apart from emotions and apart from psychology and apart from us the sociological creatures or the spiritual beings that we may or may not be depending on your belief system but my experience has been that it's all integrated that we're none of it and we're all of it and so um, one of the I guess the lessons for me over the years has been even beside my training as, as an exercise scientist but just as an observer has been to realize how smart my body is and how smart your body is in that it has its own form of intelligence. And so our body is what we can call a biofeedback machine where your body is always telling you something. It's always telling you, I need more water, I need less water, I need more sleep, or uh, my back's not right, you need to do something, or um, I've, got, I've got this skin condition, or I'm anxious because my heart rate's elevated and I'm producing too much cortisol and adrenaline, I'm gaining fat because of that, and all of these things. So our body is constantly sending us signals, but sadly, in 2017, we've kind of, in many ways, switched off, where we, we feel something and rather than rather than treating it or rather than going to see about it or rather than doing something constructive to fix it, repair it, heal it, we take another pill to get rid of the symptom. So we're not fixing anything, we're just masking the symptoms. And we don't need to become gym junkies, we don't need to live on alfalfa and yak milk, we don't need to live in a cave, in a caftan, but I think it's really important that, you know, like when we think about obviously you've only got one body, you can get a new car, you can get another job, you can get more money, you can't get another body. So to prioritize your body, and I'm not talking about vanity or ego or muscles or abs, I'm talking about health, I'm talking about wellness, I'm talking about function. My experience working with lots of people, elite athletes, business people, blokes in prison, old people, young people, over decades is that if you don't have physical health, nothing else really matters. Um, family matters, of course, but really, if you're not gonna be around to enjoy family, you know what I'm saying? So it's really important that we look after our body, that we make the best decisions for our body, that we manage and we optimize our physiology as best we can. And also we know that from a really practical point of view, when, when I'm in better shape physically, uh, I'm in better shape mentally and emotionally. I'm more confident, I think more clearly, my memory's better, I'm more articulate, I'm more patient, I'm more tolerant, I'm kinder because I'm not stressed, I'm not unhealthy, I'm not carrying excess weight. So everything, be that physical, mental, emotional, sociological, it's all intertwined. And no, life's not ha about having an awesome body, but it's a really important pa part or component of the happiness um, journey that we want to be on is to make sure that we're in good nick so that we can perform optimally in our lives. Thank you, Craig. Always inspirational life tips as usual. Now, Margie, we're practicing a bit of meditation here, aren't we? Because mind is just as important as the body. Let's all say mm, together. Mm. Now we are gonna to cross to Tiffany Hall in the kitchen. See you soon. Hi, I'm Tiffany Hall and I'm so excited because I'm going to cook for you right now my favorite snack, protein balls. Protein's really important after you work out to repair the damaged muscle that you broke down whilst you're working out and to build it up strong again to be lean muscle. And the more lean muscle you have on your body, the more you burn fat. So we wanna eat a lot of protein. Now the ingredients in the protein balls, really simple. You've got some almond meal, some cacao, some vanilla protein powder, some coconut oil, honey for a bit of sweetness, and your natural peanut butter, okay? So the process is really simple. So first of all, I'm going to add my peanut butter into the saucepan like that. Really simple, bit of honey for sweetness. Really goes well with the peanut butter. Don't you love peanut butter and honey? away and then the coconut oil in there and we're going to stir it all around 
just let that melt deliciously. Stirring away, making sure it's melting beautifully. Just like that. Oh, and it happens quick. Okay, we're going to bring it over now. And very simply, we're going to add the wet ingredients into the bowl. Oh, it smells amazing. Yum. Okay, there we go. Like that. And now we're going to add the dry ingredients. So the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. First, our almond meal. That goes in like that. Then our vanilla protein powder. Heaps of protein for those gorgeous muscles. In we go. And then some cacao, two tablespoons. Go like this, like that. And then we're going to just stir it all in. Nice and easy. You can use those muscles for stirring. You can see that's forming beautifully there into a sticky consistency. Good. Just like that, nice and easy. Stir it up. And then all you need to do is roll it out onto the board into ball configurations, okay? So you grab a big chunk and you can push it together. This is a fun part. And you can make delicious little protein balls like that. So really simple, wet ingredients, dry ingredients, stir it together and then create your beautiful little protein balls. But I have prepared some earlier because I always have them in the fridge. So here you have it, the protein balls, all cooked, looking beautiful, and they're a great snack. You can bulk cook these on the weekends and have them for grab and go snacks throughout the week. Full of protein, great for recovery after exercise, and they taste delicious. But don't take my word for it. I'm going to call in my producer, Matt. Matt, come in. Taste one of these, okay. what do you think? Delicious. Yeah, delicious. The honey, the peanut butter, it's so awesome. So if you want the recipe, go to the Get A Life website or visit tiffxo.com, my health and fitness app, and you will be able to get this recipe and plenty more. Well, thank you, Tiffany. They look amazing, those protein balls, and the perfect after workout treat, I think, don't you? Definitely. Now, what are we doing now? You're gonna teach me something else. You're yes. so versatile. Definitely, we're gonna get that core working. So mm -hmm. just gently bend your knees and when we cross your arms across your body, relax the neck and a couple of little crunches. Good. Draw that belly button in, use your core, not too low, just enough to get it all working. Oh, well you're Fantastic. amazing, Margie. You've taught us so much. This episode has been incredible and this versatile space is somewhere where I will come over and over again. Look at you, just effortless chic, just balancing on that ball. You are a woman of very many talents. Now we've got another episode next week, of course, with so many more tips and techniques. Stay healthy, stay fit, stay balanced. Until then, we'll see you soon.